Do you want to be a calisthenics athlete who not only has an amazing physique but can actually use his body? What if I tell you you can get the six pack while getting the strength to be able to do spectacular exercises like the press to handstand, front lever or human flag? If you work out anyways, why not to take advantage of the possible benefits? If you have goals like this, then stop doing a million variations of ab exercises and start focusing on the ones that actually help you to reach your goals. In this video, I'm going to show you the two types of core strength you definitely need in calisthenics. What's up guys, it's Adam from GymnasticsMethod.com. If you don't want to miss my videos about bodyweight training and lifestyle, please subscribe and click on the bell. Thank you. And if you want to get access to all the Gymnastics Method workout programs, tutorials like planche, handstand or muscle up, nutrition guide, daily workouts and much more, click the link below and become a member now on GymnasticsMethod.com. So, the two types of core strength you'll definitely need in calisthenics. There are millions of core exercises, I bet you have seen some and the question is always there. Which is the best one? Trainers always tell people the same answer. It depends. But I'm getting back to what I said in the intro. It's pretty clear what you should do to achieve those goals, the six pack and the dope skills. Take a look at gymnasts and street workout athletes. Besides the six pack, they have super strong core and they can do really dope moves and they are dominating their bodies. And if it's possible to reach both, why not to train like that? So let's see the two approaches how you should strengthen your core. The one is the extended straight body position and the other is the closed so the compression. This is the two types of core strength you'll need in calisthenics to be a great all-around athlete. You need to be able to maintain the straight body position in the handstand and different kind of levers like front lever, back lever, planche or human flag. And you need the compression strength while doing a press to handstand L-sit or V-sit and of course in leg raises. These exercises are great six-pack builders since the leverage and the weight of the legs and the isotonic contraction of the abs. Alright, that all sounds good, but how should you start training to achieve these kind of strength abilities? Let's see a summary of exercises that you should work on. Let's start with the extended or straight body position. An iconic exercise that most beginners know well is the hollow body position. This exercise is a great start to strengthen the extended body position. But before you start practicing, it's worth to feel how to activate your core and tilt your pelvis. I have already talked about this in one of my previous videos, here is what you need to do. Stand at the wall behind you and lean to it naturally with your back and pelvis. There's gonna be a gap between your lower back and the wall, that's because of the double S shape of your spine. To activate your core, you need to touch the wall with your lower back, press it to the wall. To do that, you need to move your pelvis or hips. That's what we call the posterior pelvic tilt, which you need to strive for in most core exercises. You need to use the same activation in the hollow body position. You can start in tuck and you can't go wrong with that. Normally, until the 90 degrees hip angle, your lower back will touch the ground anyways, especially if you're contracting your abs with elevating your upper body. This position can also be helpful for beginners, so they can hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. However, try to fully extend your legs while pressing your lower back down with posterior pelvic tilt and tight core. You can do this with your arms next to your trunk or if you want to increase the intensity, raise them next to your ears. If you feel this exercise is too difficult for you, it's hard to press your lower back down or it elevates, then bend your legs until you can press it down again. The point is to keep your core tight and press your lower back down. You can place your arms next to your body or ears and keep your head in a neutral position in the continuous line of your upper body. I recommend to train the hollow body position up to 60 seconds. Let's move on the next one. To strengthen the lower back and the posterior chain, the superman is a great exercise. Many people confuse this exercise with the hyperextensions with much criticism for the lumbar vertebral compression. But this exercise is not about that. Yes, we elevate the upper body and the legs, but only slightly. If you want to minimize that as much as possible, do it on a chair and strive for a straight line parallel to the ground. Support on your hips and the lower part of your stomach and hold your body like this, concentrating on the lower back muscles and glutes. Hold this position for up to 60 seconds as well. To strengthen the straight body position from the side, you should do side planks, which are going to help with the human flag. Besides strengthening the obliques, 
These exercises train your shoulders as well that has to prepare them for the human flag. Whichever of them you use, pay attention to the straight body position, do not rotate your shoulders or hips. Keep them perpendicular to the ground and maintain the straight body position. Do not let the hips to sag. Hold this position up to 60 seconds each side. If you have the basics, then for taking the straight body position to the next level, you should work on the dragon flags. This exercise will open new doors for many advanced exercises, but mostly for the front lever. You can practice the dragon flags in two ways. Changing the straight body angle from the vertical position through 45 degrees until you reach the full dragon flag, or by lengthening the leverage, so start with tuck position, then go on with the advanced tuck, straddle, one leg and the full dragon flag. Or you can use both methods by mixing them up. First, you should train the static dragon flag and once you have that, you can do dynamic reps doing raises. If you train these exercises I mentioned and learn the dragon flag, you'll get a decent core strength and these will help with the six pack as well. Let's see the other type of core strength you need, the compression strength. I have already made a video about the most underrated core exercises, which are the seated leg raises in pike and straddle. Here is what you need to know. As a first step, you should get your thighs and hip flexors used to the leg raises. You will be able to do this even if you still have problems with your flexibility. Sit down in pike sit with straight and closed legs, supporting with your hands behind your body and do leg raises and holds with one leg. The goal is to do 3 sets and 10 reps and hold the last rep for 10 seconds per leg. In the next step, support with your hands next to your thighs and keep your back straight as well and do leg raises in a similar way. The goal is to do 3 sets and 10 reps and hold the last rep for 10 seconds per leg. Finally, support with your hands in line with your knees or further, this time with rounded back, striving for the maximal compression. You can start here with one leg as well, but the goal is to do with both legs. If you can do 3 sets of 10 reps and hold the last rep for 10 seconds, that's a good level of strength. If you do this exercise in straddle, start the same way, raising with one leg at a time, supporting with your hands on the side. Do 10 reps three times and hold 10 seconds per leg as well. The goal is to do it with both legs at the same time, supporting with your hands between your legs as far as possible with rounded back. If you have improved these exercises, then you will not have problems with learning the L-sit or V-sit, which will be the next step. If you can hold an L-sit for 15 to 20 seconds, your core strength is decent. If you have a good posterior chain mobility, you should move on to the V-sit. The compression exercises I mentioned, plus the L-sit and V-sit will help a lot to learn the press to handstand because that's what you need to focus on there. These exercises are providing the two-in-one effect for the six-pack and skills. The dynamic alternatives to develop the compression strength are the variations of leg raises in hanging or support. So with that being said, we discussed all of the main exercises you have to work on to have a strong and useful core strength. If you want to train by a complete system that teaches you every step from beginner to the advanced level on how to achieve a shredded physique like a gymnast while being able to dominate your body and doing spectacular skills, click the link below, join now on gymnasticsmethod.com and get full access to all the content. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell for more. See you next Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time.